and welcome to another episode of Mac Minute. This week, we're gonna talk about how you can access other Macs that are on your network. And it's actually very simple. The Macintosh has built in a networking scheme that pretty much finds all the Macs that are in your network. Just like Windows has their own, Mac has their own, and the Mac can also see the Windows machines as well. So in our network, I have a number of Macs and a number of Windows machines, but I'm gonna show you how to connect to another Mac today. So all you do is you go bring up your hard drive, and open it up, just get, to a, just get to a finder folder. You can get to the finder folder by coming down here and using finder as well. I just went to the, the hard drive right there. Okay, so if we scroll down to under shared, you're gonna see I have a lot of machines that are hanging out down here. Um, and if I go to all, you're gonna see even more. So we have a Mac there and a Mac there and a Mac there. And there's uh, two more Macs around that aren't, must not be turned on right now. And I got my Mac, so. But if I want to connect to one of them, I can either connect, click here on the left-hand side like this, and you see at the top it says share screen and connect as. So I'm gonna show you first how you do a share screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and do share screen. And it wants to know who I am because I don't really have an account on there for this user. So I'm going to log in as me. And it comes up and you see our old Mac with pictures running through it. Now, one of the things you're gonna notice here is I have two screens. These are two 27 inch screens side by side. And it gives me the choice to either, I'm viewing them both. I can drag from one to the other. If I take this uh, window here, I can drag it to the other window. Let me grab it. And I can drag it across monitors. If you are in the other room, you'd see that I'm dragging across monitors right now. But if I wanna see just one or the other, I can click here and see one or the other. Now, there's a couple of things that you gotta remember when you're in this mode, though. Because if I anything I do is gonna go to the other computer while my cursor's here. So if I would do Apple Q, so to try to get out of screen sharing, it's gonna, can, it's gonna kill whatever's on this other window. And here's why. Um, screen sharing, if you go look, about, look at it, you can't quit screen, screen sharing by doing Apple Q. And that's because if you do Apple Q, it's gonna send that key, keystroke over to the other Mac. It's gonna quit whatever you're on on the other Mac. So if you want to get out of it, you actually have to go and quit. Now, the other thing you can do is you can take screen uh, captures. You can do cut and paste across from Mac to Mac. You can do full screens. Um, you can switch between uh, control and observe mode. So when you do that, and this is something that's new, when you do that, if you're on the remote machine, personally on the remote machine, you can't accidentally take over. So if I was, if somebody was on the other machine and they had their cursor over here doing something and I moved my cursor up here, it's gonna move the cursor. Unless you're in observe mode. And if you're in observe mode, you can't, you won't affect that user. And that's something I think it's a new either in Lion or Mountain Lion. And it's a very nice feature. The older versions that don't have that. So if you're trying to work with somebody or view somebody, what they're doing on the other side and you accidentally touch their screen area, you take and move their mouse. All right, so let's go ahead and get out of screen sharing. And in the case where you don't see, you see right here under the shared menu, you don't see all of our computers. So if I click on all, and let's say I want to take over the Wirecast machine, if I double click on it, you now see the share screen option right here. And I click on share screen, and I can get through that whole process like you did before. So I'm not gonna actually worry about that right now, it's just a demonstration of how you can pick a different machine. Now, the other thing you're going to notice here is I do not have any file folders right here because this machine's not sharing. We're gonna talk about sharing next week on how you can share files uh, on your computer to someone else or to the other people in the network. But this week, I'm just gonna show you how to connect to other machines in your network. So um, I'll real quickly show you this. This is another machine on the network that is a Windows machine and it has two public shares on it. And you can see that I can connect to the two public shares. I wanna see the rest of the drives that are on there. I have to go to connect as and as it's connect as a registered user with my name, and I'll be able to see the other shared folders I'm allowed to see. So we'll talk about this in another episode connecting to Windows. So let's go back to the Mac Pro. And when you click on it, you see I have a couple things that are already public. I have uh, home scan, which is what we use with to scan our machines to make sure things okay on them. It goes once a couple, a couple times a day, once twice a day, something like that, and goes through them. So that's, uh, that's what that counts for. You have my profile, which is public, and then you have VMs, which is our public VM where we can run things in VMware. But if I come in here and do a connect as, and I'm gonna come in here and do me again, you now see I have more folders. I have groups, I have my folder, so I can get access to other folders that I didn't have that were publicly available. 
So that's how you log into a remote Mac to get file access to it. Now, you can also set up printers and all kinds of other things with sharing. So like I said, it's a whole other episode we're gonna talk about with sharing coming up that will go through how you can share your drives, how you can share your printers, how you can share your internet connections, how you can let somebody actually SSH or remote log into the command line to your machine, which don't recommend, but you can do it. It's there if you wanna do it. So that pretty much was all I wanted to cover for this week was how you can quickly find other machines in a network to share things back and forth, copying them around. Now we are going to cover AirDrop, which is a new feature coming up in a future episode as well, and another way that you can transfer files between machines in your house, as well as friends' machines that you come in, you don't want to give them access to your network as far as uh, public access or some kind of browse access on your machine, as long as they're connected in the same Wi-Fi network, you can share files between each other without uh, any security risk. That's another episode coming up as well. We'll see you next week on Mac Minute. For show notes for this show, contacts, and more, go to the techzen.tv website where you can get show notes for all of our shows. We love to hear from our viewers and listeners. We have an email, a Twitter, and a phone number where you can contact us for each show. For details, visit the techzen.tv website and get the show details. You can also make a video and upload it somewhere like YouTube or Vimeo and then just send us a link. You never know, you may see your video in a future show. You can get all of our shows delivered automatically to your favorite device by going to your favorite podcast website like iTunes and subscribing. Each of our shows also has a YouTube channel you can subscribe to to get regular updates. Our shows are also available on most internet radio networks like Stitcher and TuneIn Radio. You can also watch and listen to our shows on Xbox, TiVo, and Roku. You can even find us on your Zoom.